You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We've got open phones today. We're going to be taking your phone calls. I'm going to go to Mike in the next segment. Right now, we're going to go to Jacob, James, and others, then Daniel and Damien. We are talking about civil war, the government trying to start a civil war. We've asked the question on Twitter, can we stop the attempt to start a race war? Tweet us your questions at hashtag AJ show, watch live. I've got some of these comments uh, coming up as well. Uh, Jake Phillip, or at Solid Snake, says, yes, we can and we should do so. It's the people versus the elite not the people versus the police. Uh, Richard Watkins J. says, won't be a race war, will be a class war, though. Yeah, but they're kicking it off racially. And then saying the police are where you should vent your class war anger. I mean, this is just pure, pure Bolshevik-type garbage playbook. So that's some of the uh, comments here. D. Hacker 110 says, I personally think it's too late to stop it from happening. People are still looking at the small things and not the big picture. Real Patriot News says, do you think it would be a good idea for communities to come together and spread the truth about the system and speak out? Absolutely. People tweeted at Real Alex Jones on Twitter. So that's what this comes down to. More of those comments coming up. Let's get a call in right now. Let's go to Jacob in Utah. You're on the air. Yes, J uh, Alex, this is uh, Jacob. Uh, Law. I'm a longtime listener and uh, a multiple subscriber with your prison planet. And um, Thank you. And, um, you know, I, I understand all your points in that, but you're missing the whole thing about this. This is about justice, Alex, and the system has been set up so there is no justice. I mean, when you have your own kid killed, then you can start evaluating a lot different than what I'm hearing you talk about. No, no, I hear you, and God forbid that that ever happened. I see on the screen you say that your daughter was killed. Tell us about that. My, da my daughter was killed. She was unarmed, no warrant, no criminal record. She was gunned down by U.S. Marshals, shot in the back of the head, and uh, uh, that was January 9th in Salt Lake City, but it wasn't by the Salt Lake City Police. It was by Federal Marshals JCAT, which is a... Uh, uh, criminal apprehension team or Were something. they on a drug raid or something or a warrant service? No, no. It, they, uh, was, she was driving in her car and unmarked cars come up, rammed her head on. Another cop come and ran up behind her and shot her in the back of the head before she could even know what was happening. You know, I see these type of bizarre cases all the time. Uh, now the FBI famously executed that guy in Florida when he was reportedly bound uh, it's based, uh, I mean, do you have any idea why they did this to her? Uh, well, you know, Alex, uh, you know, I was not totally aware of everything that was going until after my daughter was killed. You know, uh, God forbid that happens to anybody else. But if you want reality, when, when your kid gets killed, you got reality. And then you start seeing all the other things, especially here in Utah. I mean, uh, uh, Daniel Willard was killed uh, on November 2nd, 19, uh, I mean, 2012. Uh, by West Valley police, and she and it was ruled unjustified. So no, I know. Out by the Bundy Ranch, there was like a 15-year-old on a bicycle last year, and they just shot him off the bicycle. No weapon. I, I know. It's this extinctive training, video game, kill, 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 uh, and a lot of police departments are actually removing that training. It's just like, well, we keep cops alive. Well, then you shoot some guy that pulls his cell phone out. I mean, it, it's getting to where they're like fast-drawing villains or gunfighters and, and, and but there is a problem I hear what you're saying the globalists gave them the training gave them the weapons, gave them the tanks but I really want to hear from you when we come back I want you to finish your story then I'm going to Mike in New York 
about what happened to your daughter. And were they serving a warrant? What happened? They rammed her car? I wonder about the cost. I see cops all the time will just ram your car even if you're not fleeing them. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds, is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. 2015 is almost here, and with it comes those New Year's resolutions to finally transform your body the way you want it. There's a reason over 88% of New Year's resolutions fail. Make this year different by equipping yourself with Oxy Powder, the next level in cleansing the body naturally. Using Super Oxygenation, Oxy Powder, available through InfoWarsLife.com, gently cleanses the body while you sleep with easy capsules. Tens of thousands of individuals have used Oxy Powder to cleanse their bodies and aid in their transformations. Even InfoWars Nightly News Director Rob Dew has been using Oxy Powder with incredible success. Took it that first day, then I took it for six more days after that. 12 pounds melted off in about a week. I'd say a week, seven days. 2015 can be different. Diet and exercise are important, but a lot of us have already tried that. Oxy Powder flushes it out. Secure your Oxy Powder at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Sold out for weeks due to the difficult and extensive proprietary process behind its creation, the exclusive InfoWars Life Secret 12 formulation is now back in stock in the last limited shipment of 2014, the most bioactive form that has been created with our proprietary process. This ultra-clean vitamin B12 nutraceutical has been carefully crafted and developed over the last two years and is based on cellular science of how your body actively absorbs essential nutrients. Secret 12 is taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Vitamin B12 deficiency is linked to scores of serious problems. And Secret 12 is a fusion of two organic proprietary forms of vitamin B12, bringing you a true nutraceutical quality vitamin B12, Secret 12. Secret 12 is an excellent Christmas gift and is tailor-made to boost your New Year's resolutions. Supplies of Secret 12 are very limited. Secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Christmas. It's Monday, the 22nd day of December 2014. Old man winner is here from the front lines. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. What we are looking at is good and evil. Right and wrong. Right and wrong. New world order. World government world is openly being announced by private mega corporations exempt from taxes that have diplomatic immunity and all over the planet the way they control nations is using sociologists to come in and play off religious, racial, ethnic differences against each other. The Romans did it, the British did it, it's the great game. And with my audience on InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com and on YouTube, you're hearing the majority of callers that have called in today. I'm going to try to move quick now and cycle through a bunch of them so we can get an accurate Im image here. Hey, I don't want to go up and just kill random cops, but they killed my daughter, or they beat me up, or all they do is run checkpoints that are illegal. So you see, as the police become globalized, 
because they are already federalized and the feds have been occupied and taken over under UNESCO treaty. Our police follow UN rules. The average cop doesn't know that. As this immunization, as the UN calls it, takes place, you will see an us against them mentality and the system circling the wagons against the people so that the people aren't able to take over the system and restore the republic. So they are trying to cause a race war, civil war. Here are some of the headlines. I'm going right back to your calls. Police departments on alert after cop killings. In New York, tensions between police and Mayor de Blasio boil over after killings. Sharpton, our city is hurting from these vicious murders of two NYPD officers when he's been helping promote all this. Obama's propaganda pushed people to hate the police, Giuliani says. A widening rip between the New York mayor and the New York City police is savagely ripped open. Got another article here where a deputy FBI director retired has come out and said that they, the, the White House and Justice Department is trying to cause civil unrest. Killings of two New York City officers triggers backlash. Howard Saffer, anti-police rhetoric unlike anything I've seen in 45 years, <coughs> and it's being pushed by the media. Now, does that mean that the police in many areas aren't out of control? I'm the expert on that. I've made four films, written books on it, predicted all of this. But there's a difference between being mad about what the general police are being turned into and randomly blaming individual police officers or their families. It's very simple. And they want to get us fighting with each other. So how do we navigate this is the question. And I'm hearing from listeners like Jacob, who I held over, he said federal marshals this January killed her, unarmed, shot her in the back of the head. If you give us her name, we can look it up and pull up the news article, sir. I know it's hard for you to probably talk about, but I do see the videos from choppers and dash cams where someone will be unarmed and a cop just shoots you. It's like the black teen who was handcuffed on the dart platform and they pull the gun out and he just shoots him in the back. And then they lied and said he'd beat up the cops, so they shot him, and then the video came out. So they did try to cover that up. Very creepy. And the police officer only got like two years in jail. And then they sent us subpoenas for people threatening the cop on my website on InfoWars on the comments. And they actually went and prosecuted multiple people around the country who were on my website, folks, they were all over YouTube saying the same thing. Why was it my website? Because we had it on our servers and it was a way to come snooping around here. So you know what? We have our comments now on Discus for two years. They're not here. You can take your subpoenas over to Discus or whoever else. You have no reason to come around here. So I've lived through this. I've seen it. Serpico said that every other cop in the narcotics unit in New York was dealing drugs because they'd kill you if you didn't go along with it. So is the New York PD corrupt famously? But at the same time, we need, we need to get Serpico back on. He's been on twice. I, I absolutely want Serpico on. Get John Bounds when I originally got him, and we were going to fly him down here and do a documentary, but the point is I, I just want to get him on about this right now. Frank Serpico is a listener, so he shouldn't be hard to get on. We're going to go back to your phone calls right now, but for me, this is the big issue. Later in the hour, I'm going to get a North Korea threatened strikes on the U.S. amid hacking claims, AP, Saudi oil chief, no conspiracy behind oil prices, Fox investigation, CDC may be hiding Ebola cases. That was yesterday on Fox Sunday. That's all coming up, but right now, let's go back to your phone calls. Jacob, tell the story about your daughter. What was the investigation? I mean, I don't know her name. I haven't seen your case, but I do see similar cases where these cops are so trigger happy. It's like taking somebody deer hunting for the first time, and they get buck fever, and they shoot a cow 400 yards away on somebody else's property. I mean, that is a routine occurrence, and I think you got a lot of people like that joining police forces. I mean, I'll be honest. 
twice I've seen, and I like the Austin Police Department. On average, they're pretty nice people and follow the Constitution to a certain extent. But I've seen the Austin Police cadets training at deep.